Happy Juneteenth out there to all of my kings and queens. For those of you who are familiar with this day, they, they would consider it like a Freedom Day or Emancipation Day because the 4th of July, slaves weren't actually all free. So Texas, I guess, was a state that was left out that still has slaves. So further on, that's when June of the 19th of 1865 was the official day that all states had no slaves. So, I mean, we just have to really raise more awareness of this day, uh, let our little ones know, you know, what their history is. And I feel like it's very important for all of us to share together. So fuck the 4th of July, because we're not completely fucking free, and we're gonna celebrate Juneteenth like it is the 4th of July, period. Okay, how I'm celebrating today, we're gonna do like a little barbecue style, do some fireworks today at the park. So I'm just gonna really enjoy this day. Um, I was chosen to do the soul food. I'm going to make it like barbecue soul food kind of thing. So it's going to be vegan. And I'm not going to tell them. I'm going to just let them eat that shit. Because <laughs> they really think vegan, all vegan food nasty. It's not. Not all of it. Just a little bit of it. But what's on the menu. So I already prepared some of the stuff. So it won't take so long today. Um, I did the greens. So I made it out of kale. Uh, what else are we going to do? I'm going to do potato salad. I'm going to do a vegan style, of course. Um, I bought some plant-based burger patties that I am going to throw on the grill with some barbecue sauce. I'm going to make, so I'm, you know, I've been breaking the rules a little bit with the uh, recycling thing, but I know the kids will love chips and dip because I stopped buying chips because I can't recycle the bag. But I said these will be really good with some dip, so I'm going to make like a French onion dip. Never made it vegan style before, but we're going to see how that turn out. What else on the menu? That's really it. I wasn't trying to do too much. Oh, and I bought a watermelon. You know you got to have something red. I guess that's a tradition uh, when it comes to celebrate Juneteenth. Um, I guess it's just to show, like, um, honor to the ones who passed, to show red for blood, as I was told. So they'll do, like, strawberry soda. I guess back, in, back then, like, strawberry soda, strawberries, you know, just red shit. And I'm like, I wonder is that why... Watermelon is so popular with black people because it's red and motherfuckers eat that shit and it's good But that's that I bought a big-ass watermelon. So I mean that is really it on the menu and of course I got my beer Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so what I started on was some onion. I got some celery I got some vegan mayo. That's actually not too bad something new. I'm trying I got mustard salt and pepper what else? I put sweet relish. And then next I'm going to add the potatoes. And let's see how we did. <laughs> okay, so I added my potatoes, my chunks of potatoes. Of course, I boiled them before. And I'm just kind of mixing that in with the rest of my ingredients. I'm smashing it just a little bit because I don't really like it too chunky. And then again, I don't like it like really mashed, you know? I so I just do a little something here. It looks great though. I'm actually surprised. Because I actually, I've never made a vegan potato salad. So this is something new. And it looks norm. Look at it. And it look good. It looks like regular potato salad. So I'm definitely going to trick the hell out of my family. <laughs> They're going to be like, it tastes a little different, but it's good, though. <laughs> no, let me, uh, I got to taste this. See if I put enough uh, seasoning in here. Stop playing with her. Stop it. This tastes regular as hell. So I put enough of this. All I need is just to add a touch of, ooh, celery salt. Add a touch of celery salt, a little salt, pepper again. I got some paprika I'm going to sprinkle. I should just do that right now. Sprinkle that up on there. Man, let me stop playing. Okay, where's the celery salt? Oh, I should do garlic powder too. Let me put garlic powder. That's going to be good. Let me see if I got this celery salt. I 
think I'm not in no more. Okay, so I don't have celery salt anymore. I thought I had some. So what I put in here is garlic powder. I'm gonna put some more pepper. I'm gonna put a little more salt. Call it a motherfucking day. Stop playing with me. I'm getting colder at this shit the more I do it. It might be Jordan's vegan kitchen aprons in here pretty soon. Mm. Stop it. The salt. Bam, we done with that. So, my kitchen a mess right now. Excuse it, because you know how I be when you're cooking. Shit everywhere. I wanted to share this with you guys. So, I finally found, because I didn't want to get vegetable spread butter. and I, But I couldn't find a vegan one, right? So, this is what I had bought before, right? This is the only one I could find. It was vegan so today it costs more i think this was like ten dollars though um i found this plant-based butter see so i'm gonna try that it did cost a lot more but i i kind of want to do this plant i want to be more focused on this plant-based diet but okay that's just something i want to share with you guys so i did a potato salad already made my greens i'm gonna show y'all i made it with kale and of course, onion, you know, all your little seasonings. Uh, something new I also bought. I used this broth. Uh, I bought this beef and this chicken. Well, not chicken and not beef. Little broth cubes. And they really do taste good. So I used chicken, I think, in this one. It was fucking delicious. They really do work, y'all. So something new also I got right there. But look, I made my greens. Um... What else we got to do, y'all? I had to cut my watermelon. Let me take a little break. Oh, I made my beans. I forgot to say that. I made my baked beans out of pinto beans and a lot of seasonings. So I did that already. The only thing I have to prepare now is a French onion dip. Okay, now it's time to prepare our French onion dip. So, you know you got to get that uh, French onion seasoning packet for that. I think it's vegan. <laughs> if it ain't no oil, it's going to be vegan today. A little mayo. I like this stuff here. It's not bad. I think that's enough. Now, I got this plant-based uh, sour cream here. Okay, so we're going to do that. Smell good. I don't know if that's enough. Let's see. No. I'm just add all of it. Well, I hope y'all have a blessed day today. You know. Just really want everybody just to enjoy themselves. With your loved ones, you know. And you got to be family, your loved ones. Don't look too bad. I thought it was going to be white more, but it looks like a tannish color. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder. We're going to add some black pepper. And we're going to add some salt. Now, I don't think we need to add anything, though. Let's see how this tastes. Mix it around real good. Get all that seasoning from that bottom. Let's see how it turn out. I love these chips. I don't know about kettle. These kettle uh, chips. I get the uh, salt and pepper. Mm. Okay. Let me see how it tastes with my, my homemade dip. Man, I'm getting better and better at them. For real.
Mm. We in there. They gonna love this. They not even gonna know. Not even gonna know. Well, I'm gonna start this grill up, y'all, to get these burgers on there. I'm gonna cut up this watermelon. Drink a couple more beers. <laughs> And I'll holla at y'all in a minute. Okay, guys. So, I am finally finished in the kitchen. Sweating my ass off all day. But I know it's going to be worth it. So, let me show you guys the masterpiece. So, I got my baked beans. I made my greens. I got my potato salad. And I got my burger. My Beyond Burger with my barbecue sauce. Of course, I had to get me a nice big piece of watermelon. If you don't go sit down. I'm almost done. Just wait. <laughs> so I got my red you got to do your red on oh, Juneteenth for one it's good as hell and then for two it symbolizes the blood and the resilience of the former slaves so that was a tradition that the free slaves did on this day you definitely you, you already know I gotta have my beer let's see how it is Okay. It tastes like a real ground beef burger. I told you. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. Look, okay. Perfect. Mmm. Yeah, but it's in my mouth. Oh my god. Yeah, but. I definitely had to share this recipe with you guys. This is amazing. Mm. And the next one. And that's the next one. Mm. This is really good. Well, after this, y'all, it's party time. So, I'm going to pop some fireworks with the family. We're all just sitting down enjoying our meals together. <clears throat> and you know I had to include you guys. The part of family. Mm. <clears throat> Got a little kick to it. I put some crushed red pepper in it. <clears throat> Good. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. I just wanted to do this with you guys. Mm. But I'm going to smash down on this. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this day. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys on my next video. Have a blessed day. Peace.